Hello, in this little video I show you how I import or tile maps and tile sets into uh, Godot, or at least here's how I do it. Now I'm sure you've seen some other videos on how to do this, for instance you've seen the video from that uh, GD, GD guest, GD quest guy, you know, he, he sounds really French. Anyway, uh, you may have seen how he does that step by step, but there may have been some things that you didn't find or you didn't uh, realize, maybe little things that he neglected or it's just you maybe uh, for whatever reason you get stuck on. So uh, here I'll show you how I do it right here. So here I already have a little uh, tile set loaded up into my little tile thingamajigger whoozy what's it. I have my tile set right here which I loaded by, uh, well here I'll, might as well just go this, uh, I'll load up a new one so we go up to new tile set based on tile map image collection uh, we'll just do that whatever just give it a name uh, you know you can browse I click on that and it loads that up and you could save it as something else you know you do that stuff that that's all fine and dandy uh, here I'll go to uh, where should I save it uh, I'll just save it here as um, uh, it's, uh, whatever. I'll just give it a throwaway name. Uh, but anyway, I have this right here, and I have you know this whole tile set thingy right here. Oh, whoops! Push the wrong button. Anyway, I have this whole tile set thingy right here. No, not the preferences. But there are some things which you may not have uh, said about it. So tile set properties. So background, we don't need to mess with that. Uh, orientation, you can keep that there. Grid width uh, and height, you can, for the, for the most part, you can keep that, keep that the same. But there is one little property. Let's see here. Was it in the tile set? Maybe it was in this uh, here. Let's go into a new map. Ah, here we go. Yeah, the thing is that with the Godot engine, at least when you use the import tile map uh, plugin, you have to set the layer format to CSV. Yeah, stupid me, I changed it. So I changed it to, I think it was base 65, or 64, uh, I think it was compressed or whatever. But anyway, yeah, you have to keep these, you have to keep these defaults the same. Yeah, and I think I also messed it up by changing it to left up or left down you know how it renders or whatever so anyway yeah I accidentally changed the tile format thing and that really messes you up when you try to import it into Godot so anyway yeah I've already um, I've already fixed that and now I go into Godot and now I have my nice little uh, tile set you know that I've set out right here so when you do this, you go into the tile. Yeah, uh, that that GD guy. He already told you how to install this and set it up. So I don't need to tell you how to set up this plugin. But anyway, you go to this. So you go to the source file. You go over to our town. Uh, it was yeah, it was that one right there. At least in my example. Yeah, as you can see, you know, it has sample town right here. Even though I don't have anything here because I instead do most of the uh, setting up in Godot but anyway yeah you set it up from there target scene um, yeah you just select a map of some kind so here let's uh, no we'll just I've already in imported the stuff but I'll just I'll just call it that and as he said yeah and as the GD quest guy said in his video you don't have to mess with these but you click that and now we have imported are seen but here's something else that it also imported let's see here where is that fold ah here we go it also imported the map or in this case it was the um, the red what is that render well, anyway uh, this is the tile set which we need to use so when you slap down a so when you st well here I'll, I'll uh, put in a a new node, uh, which one was that? Ah, here we go, tile map. So when you throw down a tile map, and then you select your tile set, you load it from... Okay, so maybe you have to do a little bit... Yeah, because, see, this only filters by TRS and XML. So we look at all that, and then we... Ah, here it is. So here's the one that I just imported. 
So we just open that up and now we can use it. Now, as you can see on the left, I can now, let me expand this. As you can see on the left, now we have all of these tiles ready to be used at least on this node. So yeah, that, that's, that's how at least I import them. Now you can, I'm sure you can import other things into, you know, Godot. I'm sure you can import other things via the, the, this, uh, the, the tile editor, but still, uh, this is how I do it. Also, here's a little something. If you look closely, look at that tile right here. Yeah, if I were to put that tile right there, it would. Uh, it doesn't fill the in, the entire square. That's because notice right here size. So I go into size 64 and just change that to 32. Change that to 32, and now I can now I can paint it like that. So isn't that a nice little thing? Well, anyway, yeah, that that's how I import them. So uh, thanks for watching.